Now to the latest in the calls for change here in South Florida. Dozens of protesters formed a caravan yesterday that traveled throughout Miami-Dade County. The Stand for Justice Coalition says the county has a problem with police accountability. The group primarily blames incumbent Miami-Dade State Attorney Catherine fernandez Rundle. This morning, they're demanding she withdraw from the August primary. CBS4's Mike Cunio has the details on this demonstration. Sunday afternoon, a caravan of cars protesting Miami-Dade State Attorney Catherine Fernandez Rundle traveled from Miami Gardens to City Hall and Homestead, stopping along the way in Overtown, Little Haiti, and Coconut Grove. We're here fighting for uh, Breonna Taylor. We're, we're fighting for all these different people all across the country, but we have these situations right here in Miami, Florida. Local celebrities like Luther Campbell joined this rally that included around 50 or so protesters many of whom asking for justice, claiming they or their family members had been victims of police brutality. I got ambushed by nine police officers right in front of my house on the Biscayne Towers. He was, he was handcuffed and was thrown in the canal. They say he drowned, but no, they tased him. My son was shot in the back by a Miami Dade police on 2012. This was the second time this week State Attorney Rundle was a subject of a protest. Friday, demonstrations were held right outside her office. Crystal Foster, one of the organizers, is looking for justice after her brother Edward Foster was shot and killed by police in 2015. We need uh, the state attorney's office to hold accountability and transparency on everything that's being done. We have a state attorney's office that has not convicted an officer in 27 years. The state attorney's office released a statement a few days ago saying that case was still under investigation. Uh, she has been get, providing false statements on the foster family. There has been no transparency. They have not been communicating with the family, and they, they've been stagnant. They wanted us to give up, and we didn't give up. Some demonstrators telling CBS4 News yesterday that they'd like to see Rundle step down before the August primary, many of them throwing their support behind challenger Melba Pearson. In Homestead, Mike Cunio, CBS4 This Morning.